Hello everybody and welcome back to finally another round of Hogwarts readings. Uh, right now I am doing Hufflepuff and uh, what what an amazing two months this has been um, and amazing by the standards of like so much stress, so much crap going on. My youngest finally moved out, my Hufflepuff. Uh, just last week, what was it this week? God dang, what was it? I think <laughs> I actually think it was Tuesday this week. God, it feels like it was so long ago. Uh, we had a cat die this morning, 17 years old. Man, she lived a good life. And uh, being who I am, I am not saddened by it. I am rejoicing for her because. She gets to move on, you know? Uh, let's go on to the next level. It'll be great. Um, she lived a nice long life, and uh, yeah, we'll definitely miss her. Um, anyways, I'm. No, I'm not gonna keep those. Um, guys, so I screwed up yours and Gryffindor's readings last month. My odd. Oh, God, it's been so much fun. So I. You guys both ended up having the uh, Hungarian horn tail, actually, and I called it as a Chinese fireball. Now, I did put it in the comment or the description of those videos for last month saying, hey, guys, I know I messed up, but I stand by my rating. And yeah, I stand by my rating. OK. Um, and then, you know, and it's funny because I have tried so many times to record these. And uh, now that my house is empty. Finally, God, it feels so good. And I just, I feel invigorated. And October has definitely been like this bookend month, starting with a full moon, ending with a full moon. And uh, I just, I don't know. I just, I feel really good about this. Um, regardless of anything that's going on, this was a big month. And if you don't know how or why or whatever, you'll know soon enough like this this was a big month there was a lot of changes and stuff happening things in the works life is not going to be different after this um not for a while and that's okay i think that's why i'm so excited because um i love change like my favorite card in the deck is the tower card always has been um i love the tower card uh i also also really love Eight of Pentacles. That's kind of my thing too. But anyways, yeah, I've tried to record this for you guys numerous times. Um, you know, I'm supposed to record it like every week. And I did, uh, I recorded the next weeks after that first week. I recorded it like four times. And a couple times there's no audio and just every, <laughs> such a wreck, such a wreck. And, um, you know, not, not okay. Um, I just kind of was really discouraging and then with my kid moving out it was like you know for those of you that don't have kids you know just just know that um babies are like uh, for me babies are uninteresting I don't really care for babies um I like kids I like before they become teenagers teenagers are horrible and the sooner you can get rid of them the better <laughs> It's just because, you know, they need to stretch their wings. I mean, I know I was I was crazy. I know I was a handful. And, um, yeah, that's so were mine, especially this last one. Love her to pieces, but she needed that independence. And uh, I'm glad she finally has it. It's good. So um, are we going to get more cards than just these two guys? What do we got? Ron's Wand and Buckbeak. So what are we trying to say here? Oh, you know what? I'm going to take you. Mad-Eye Moody. Let's see. What else we got? <sighs> She's so excited to finish my farm chores and sit down and do this for you guys. Because it's been really hard. Um, you know, my office is right next to the room that my daughter and her boyfriend share. And... Uh, you know, they play video games or something and they're yelling and it's just, yeah, I don't like background noises <laughs> when I'm doing these. And so, um, 
yeah, they sound like they're trying to kill each other. And no, I'm not talking about dirty stuff. I mean, literally, they're playing video games and they sound like they're trying to kill each other. My son was the same way when he was home. And uh, now he has his own apartment. And so all three of my kids are up and gone and moved out. And <laughs> it's like a liberation that I have going on now. It's so good. It's so good. I love it. All right, two more cards, guys, and then I'll pull something from the Harry Potter deck, and we will get cracking. I hope everything's going okay for you guys. I hope you guys are being safe. I hope life is treating you kindly, and I hope you're being kind to yourself. Those things are so important. A lot of times we forget about ourselves, and uh, I'll definitely vouch for that spent the first 40 years of my life not thinking about what was good for me, worrying about what was good for everybody else. And I'll tell you what, screwed me up royally. Okay, so while we're looking at those, let's pull from the Harry Potter deck and see what we can see from that. Give me just a moment, guys. <clears throat> like I said, I've said it before. Well, hell, I've said it a lot more than just the one or two videos because, gosh, I've recorded these videos so many times. Um, that's okay. I just, I hate shuffling these. Like I said, that rubbery texture is just, ugh. I just can't stand it, you know? Hopefully you guys can hear me okay. Honestly, I don't even know if I want to edit this. If I get into it and there's like no audio I just don't know what I'm gonna do uh, maybe I just won't even do these readings anymore I don't know nah I'm not a quitter I'll keep going oh I just announced yesterday that I am going to be uh, trying NaNoWriMo again so I don't know if any of you guys are into that or not I don't know if you guys follow me over on Instagram or Twitter if you don't those uh, links are you know what do you call it the top of my banner thing like go to the about page you follow me or whatever even if you don't just you know take a look over there that's where all of my other stuff is uh, attached visit me on Twitter or Pinterest or Instagram I have a red bubble store so I have some merchandise over there and uh, you know I, I have a website <laughs> I don't know what the hell I'm saying right now guys Ugh, oh my gosh I feel like I haven't shuffled in forever, but I just did a reading just a few days ago. I think after I'm done with the readings today with these four, I made that Nightmare Before Christmas. <laughs> ah. Enough said. There it is. Game, game on. Let's get into it, guys. Wow. Whew. Okay. Ron's wand. We got some breakage in there. All right, Buckbeak. Oh, sentenced to death, but saved at the last minute. Mad-Eye Moody. Ooh, fallen comrade, right? He's a, uh, oh, but we also have like the duplicity, right? The, the it wasn't really Mad-Eye Moody that Harry was getting to know in that fourth year, right? When they were playing for the Goblet of Fire. Mm-hmm. The port key, another duality. Got some dualities going on here. I like this. Albus Dumbledore. All right. He, I mean, what? Okay, so for me, when uh, this card pulls up, I, I don't know if you watch the video for my explanation of how I'm reading these cards, right? But for me, Dumbledore, he represents, um, well, shit. Brain totally just said, are you sure? Yeah, I'm sure. So he represents the magician for me, okay? So the magician card in the Major Arcana, right? So that's that's who he is to me. And um, so all of that, like, I mean, how else do you, I mean, he's the greatest wizard, right? So that's like a, like a peak, peakness, right? Peak performance, top, but also, you know what? Still human, still makes mistakes, right? Um, and he had that duplicity too. Wow, I'm loving it. Right? He uh, very much like 
Okay, so he's he, he, he picks and chooses who knows what about him, right? And it isn't until the end where you, like, find out a hell of a lot more. So he's got, like, some mystery to him. Slughorn. Very vain. Not, maybe not vain, but, like, you know, he's the collector, right? He, he loves attaining stuff for the pure... Pure... Plur. Yeah, that's, that's a word. For the pure pleasure of just attaining it, right? You know, um... Yeah, there, there was a thought there, and it's kind of, hmm. Serious Black. Oh, man, duplicity, too. I bet if I thought long and hard about him, I could get a do. Oh, you know? Yeah, here, we're hiding stuff. Ooh. Ooh, yes, like this hiding, this, um. Oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. It's coming to me. It's really coming. Okay, so, and then we've got the wizarding money, which makes absolutely no sense. Absolutely no sense, right? Their whole wizarding system of how to pay for stuff is just off the charts, doesn't make sense, no rhyme or reason, but it is, it is what it is. God, I hate that saying so much, but um, I don't know. I'm going to give that one some thought. So, breakage of the lies. Yeah, look, look. It's, oh God, it's so, it's right there. This is so beautiful. Yes, that tower moment, right? Like, everything is changing. Gosh, wasn't I just saying that? That life is never going to be the same. Like, after this reading after this month is over um i'm reading this on halloween because what else better to do than <laughs> as a grown adult with no kids to worry about trick-or-treating or throwing parties for plus we're in the age of you know covid so no parties anyway what else is there for me to do but just take this time to oh, enjoy the fact that i get to do what i love to do which is just have fun with these cards and just see what there is to see, what they're telling me. Not only that, but I like, I really love this board. Sorry, I hate to say that, but I made it. I love it. it and I always start with Hufflepuff because just maybe it's just aesthetics. I find it to be the most beautiful. Um, yellow and green are my favorite colors. I'm Slytherin, but I, I, I love the way that it just, the hell, it's just beautiful, okay? It's just, it's just beautiful. Anyways, back to the reading. I'm so sorry. Um, yeah, get ready. Get ready. Shit's about to go down, right? Um, not a good time to hex anybody. That's your warning. That's your only warning you're going to get right there. Not a good time for you, Hufflepuff. Maybe not for all of Hufflepuff, but for somebody out there, Hufflepuff, you might be thinking about casting some kind of spell tonight, cursing someone, not for you, not for you. Don't do it. It's going to backfire. And all of this, uh, these facades that you've put up, right? It's all, it's all coming down. It's all coming down. So if you try to, if you try to mess around with somebody, you try to curse somebody, even though you might think you're doing the right thing, don't do it. Don't do it because it's not what you think. You're not seeing it correctly and you're going to screw things up. So for you, that's your message to somebody in particular. Some Hufflepuff out there is thinking about cursing someone. Don't do it. For everybody else in general, I'm just going to go with, guys, be ready. Be ready. Shit's going down. Everything is, you know, we're it, it's breaking down walls. This is a exquisitely unique time in our lives um in in this in, in the in the in the history of humankind to be alive we are truly fortunate to be around for this and even though it's scary it's not stoppable okay harry couldn't help getting his name put into the goblet right um oh my god i said earlier to win the goblet i'm so dumb sometimes you know what? Two concussions. What do you want from me? All right. Sometimes my, my words get totally backwards. Same thing with the dragons, right? I totally screwed that up, but 
I stand by what I said. So yeah, you know, Harry didn't control his name getting put in, right? It was moody. Oh my gosh. But it wasn't moody, right? Yes. 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 So this is, this is all out of your control. You can't stop what's happening. All right. Dumbledore couldn't stop the curse from spreading, right? He couldn't stop Voldemort. He couldn't stop Voldemort. He couldn't stop Pettigrew or, uh, or, or Bellatrix from killing him. Like there's so much that these, and money can't fix it. All right. All right. Breaking, breaking moments, guys. Something big is on the horizon. Be prepared. Oh, I hope it's a great week for you guys. Uh, try to get through it. Try to, try to be as stress less as you possibly can. Be good to yourselves. Uh, smile, even though we're wearing our masks and nobody can see it, smile anyways. Okay? The eyes don't lie. Be good to yourself. I love you guys, and I will see you next week. Bye-bye.